We need to fix that. to put all the hours in that I want but in the end last week I did some work on Friday and some work on Saturday so it would be around in about seven or eight hours I think eight hours in in total of last week so last week was eight hours not much to say about it we just need to keep on going with the grind let's go Let's get some more stuff out, as usual. God was really windy. Look, I ain't here up top. Ha, fuck you. Why did they do that? This one is not the most fun one to take off. Nah. Ah, this one is really good. I almost forget. To turn screws in. Okay, that was not a smart move. I should have drilled them out from the inside because it's way better visible where the spot welds are and now I'm making a little bit of a mess of it. So people remember, if you want to take the steering rack mounts out, spot welds are drilled from the inside out. But I still need to get it off, so yeah. Oh, we got to keep on going. Move. <laughs> yes, boys. Okay, luckily that was better. I did it. Now we can fix it up a little bit, luckily. And of course, a biggie holy. We need to fix that. The rest is all surface rust, so that's easy to take off. So we can clean out the rest, put that rack mount in, that rack mount back in, and clean the final holes that I don't want anymore.
was a sketchy moment. So, okay, that is getting way cleaner now. Why am I taking all the paint off? Because of the crazy glue that was on there for the insulation of the bulkhead and in some crazy way in my opinion it's attaching the paint and it's really coming off really quick so I wanted to make sure that all that ugly stuff was gone before if we just sand it down and going to paint it and later on the paint will come off we don't want that so that's why the extra precautions to get it all cleaned out so now we're going to sand it down a little bit and we are ready to weld in back in some steering rack mounts so that the engine bay will be kind of ready-ish to clean out the final holes. Man, that's another one in. I'm stuck everywhere. I break all my clothes with in and out of the car and not in those handy positions, but both of the steering rack mounts are back in. Final grind bit out of that. And then I'm off to the final holes in the engine bay. Almost done. And then I even think that we've got all the holes cleaned in the engine bay I would like. So the only thing left to do is putting the front back in, but I will do that later on. Because first we're going to do something else. I just love these positions. <laughs> oh, why am I always doing this? Well, in some strange way, this episode really feels for me like way more progress than the last couple of weeks. Because that was only bottom plates, bottom plates, bottom plates, bottom plates, bottom plates, bottom plates, bottom plates. And now I'm actually, for my feeling, working my way forward, getting some stuff done, getting some stuff finished, and we're cleaning an engine bay again. I kind of like that stuff. I like making it a little bit different making it my vision, cleaning out the stuff I want, leaving open the stuff I want. So let's do the final cleaning stuff. And then I would like to do one other thing today. Okay, let's start with some small holes, which are easy to... Just well through. Whoop, whoop. I hope. Why? Okay, so many small steps forwards. So everything is on except the front frame that will be lost. But as you've seen in the intro, first up, it arrived early. I want to install my home built, a little bit rusty, rotisserie. So I can attack the bottom and stand up straight when we clean out everything else that I want to clean out and sand everything down 
to prepare it for some paint. So this was all set up for a Mark III. And there's no crazy mounting points on the cadet, so we need to figure out how to get this onto there. I think I need to start with the rear. Hopefully we can bolt it on on the rear and maybe I'm going to weld it on at the front. Okay, first stop to get the rear bumper out and see if we get, can find or have some good strength to put it in the rotisserie. Didn't expect the bolts to be in there. Oh yeah, sucker. Okay, now I need to weld a little bit on the back that it's secured there as well. They are both in. Later next week I'm going to join the bottoms of the rotisserie together. But I've moved it before without the connection. And it's working only when you're alone. It's sometimes it's a little bit sketchy. So we'll connect it later. Hopefully I put it in. A good angle and everything measured out really good because today well it's just a little sketchy today with measuring and um, I'm not the most focused one today so hopefully <laughs> we got it right on the rotisserie and when we will drop the lift it will stay this way let's weld the last piece at the rear and let's see if it will stay Let's take a look, are all the bolts in? Yes, there are bolts in here. So it just won't turn because I will not turn it. And over here we go. So, in my calculations, we should be able to drop bread. Let's do it.
Now, okay, let's see if I can move it around. We've got a floater! Yeah, boys and girls, I like this. This even feels more like progress again. Someday, maybe one day, someday, I will going to be happy again with the cadet. For now, today was a good day. I enjoyed my work this day. And it feels like a lot of progress, like I said, earlier now i'm getting excited to get this all finished up again let's get the bottom done let's clear out the rear heck and all the weight of the car so we can turn it around because i'm not sure if it's a good idea to turn it around with this much weight with the boot lid on i'm not sure and probably soon to take the glass out and clear everything out so we can work our way to the final bits and bobs and we can see what we all got over there finally this really feels like a good day again it's been a while working on the cadet that I felt like I had a good day I really enjoyed this today not sure exactly why but I just was not in the flow but ended in the flow maybe that's the point I had a terrible feeling this week, not sure why, just did a lot of work, nothing went smooth, I guess, and I worked my way through it, and now the cadet is in the rotisserie, we can do the bottom plates, so a lot more cleaning to come, we can easily grind down the whole engine bay and clean it out, I will start preparing it to put some filler on it while working on the bottom plate so I can do two things at the same normally that's not a good thing but no I think let the filler dry a bit let clean out the bottom a little bit so we got some stuff to show for the YouTube game as well otherwise only just grinding down the bottom would be a stupid episode I guess or maybe you want to watch me standing a whole day cleaning out a bottom plate that's crazy Oh, and then um, next week the first orders of the hoodies will ship out so it's your chance to buy them because they're shipping out next week they will finally arrive with some more merch the updates will follow on that working on way more cool stuff so like and subscribe to the channel to be up to date what we're doing thank you all for watching and see you in the next episode Bye.